y'all. Welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I thought we'd make a tasty appetizer. Why don't we cook some mozzarella sticks in the air fryer? For this recipe, you're gonna need mozzarella sticks, an egg, flour, Italian breadcrumbs, and panko breadcrumbs. Arrange everything in an organized assembly line. We have our cheese, our flour, a beaten egg, our Italian breadcrumbs, our panko breadcrumbs, and a plate to put them on. Also, cut your mozzarella sticks in half. Y'all, I don't mean to sound cheesy, but I have a feeling this is gonna turn out really great. Roll your cheese in the flour, making sure to coat the ends. Dip it in the beaten egg. Roll your cheese in the seasoned breadcrumbs. Dip it a second time in the egg. Finally, coat the cheese with panko crumbs, ensuring everything is evenly coated. Now to finish the rest. I have a friend who's quite the Shakespeare scholar. A few years ago, she had the good fortune of being able to go to England and tour all of the surviving Shakespeare locales. Her favorite part of the trip was touring Shakespeare's home in Avon. She learned that Shakespeare loved to throw dinner parties, and he put a lot of effort into his menu, ensuring everything was absolutely perfect for his guests. One of his favorite things to serve was cheese. You could hear him sitting up in his study, pondering his menu, and saying to brie or not to brie. The next step is to freeze the mozzarella for at least two hours. This helps prevent the cheese from melting during the cooking and oozing all over the air fryer. When your cheese sticks are frozen solid, they're ready to cook in the air fryer. Make sure you preheat your air fryer for three minutes before cooking. To cook, place them in the basket, spritz with olive oil. You'll wanna cook them at 350 degrees for four minutes. At the two minute mark, pull them out, flip them over. If you have an oven safe dish, you can put your marinara sauce in with the cheese sticks and it will cook all together at the same time. The cheese sticks look golden brown. Always let your cheese sticks sit for a minute or two before you eat them so you don't scald your mouth. Oh, just look at this. Look at this melty cheese, y'all. Oh, woo, look at that. That is fantastic. All right, let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna Dip it in a little marinara sauce. Mmm. Wow, the Italian breadcrumbs really enhance the flavor of the cheese sticks. What a fantastic snack to make. You can see that there's some cheese oozing from mine. That's because I didn't have enough breading on this stick. It tastes so much better than what you get at a restaurant. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click like or leave me a comment to let me know that you're enjoying my videos. Good wishes, good health, and good night.